How can I be assured that I am not going to hell? Many people ask this question and we just got into that. But let's go a little bit deeper. John 3, 6, C. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Wow. John 14, 6 says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. So a lot of people feel as though, well, I'm going to. There is no other way to get into heaven, amen, other than the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. So let's go. Let's dig a little deeper about eternity, about hell. John, 1 John 4, 17 says, As we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we are like Christ here in this world. So once one has accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal savior, there's no fear and no worry and no anxiety about getting into heaven. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt that because of me accepting the Lord Jesus Christ and I am a follower of Jesus, my God, I am accepted into the beloved. I have blessed, I have a blessed assurance. I have a blessed hope knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am saved through Jesus Christ. Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. There is only one way to be certain that you are included in the book of life. You must confess your sin and believe in Jesus Christ as your personal savior. By taking this step, you have secured your place in heaven and you don't have to fear hell again. Matthew 25, 41 through 46. The king will turn to those on the left and say, away with you. You cursed ones into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. Matthew 25, 41. Wow. The Bible speaks about eternal punishment using different terms. Eternal punishment takes place in hell. The lake of fire or Gehenna. As a matter of fact, the place of punishment after death for all those who refuse to repent. The Bible is very clear in the book of Revelation that hell will be cast into the lake of fire. That hell will be cast into the lake of fire. That lets us know that the lake of fire is enormous. It is huge. It is so massive that hell can fit into it. Hell will be thrown into it. So that's not, that's just another level show or the grave is used in the Old Testament to mean the place of the dead, generally thought to be under the earth. You see John, Job 24, 19, or Psalm 16, 10, or Isaiah 38, 10. Hades is the Greek word for the underworld, the realm of the dead. It is the word used in the New Testament for sure. Gehenna, or hell, was named after the Valley of Hena near Jerusalem where children were sacrificed by fire to the pagan gods. Wow. Second Chronicles 28.3 says, this is the place of eternal fire. Eternal fire. My God, prepared for the devil and his angels and all those who do not believe in God, all those who forget God. This is the final and eternal state of the wicked after the resurrection and the last judgment. When Jesus warns against unbelief, he is trying to save us from agonizing punishment. 